Garth Ennis, the edgy Irish comic book writer known for The Punisher, The Punisher Max, Hellblazer, Preacher, Bart Simpson's Treehouse of Horror Issue 7, The Authority, Crossed, The Boys, Sarah, and Dastardly and Muttley. He is known quite well for absurd brutality and very crass humor superimposed into a more quote-unquote normal comic setting. And this two-issue miniseries combines one of Garth Ennis's favorite things, war and military history, with one of his least favorite things, superhero comics. Before I get into this episode, let me get some plugs in. I have a 40-page comic anthology made up of three short stories that is now out and available for purchase for 1999. It's called Destructo Boy and Other Exciting tales. The company that I went through only ships to the 48 continental United States, so if you are in either Alaska or Hawaii, or you are an international viewer, please feel free to email me at wildtblake at gmail.com so we can figure out the shipping. You can purchase it through the company's website, and apparently you can select it for a uh, local pickup. I can go in, pick it up, and then ship it out to you. It's a limited print run, so make sure you get a copy while it's hot. I also have a Tee Public store, where I sell shirts and now some face masks. Released in 2001 for the Marvel Knights imprint, written by Garth Ennis, with art by John McRae. This is... Hulk. Smash. The book begins in the middle of the Nevada desert. Lieutenant Mitchell, comma, Patrick runs away. The captions inform us that five companies of the 29th Infantry an armored cavalry unit, and several tanks set out on a security operation earlier in the morning. When Lieutenant Mitchell realized what they were going up against, he ran like a scalded cat. Meanwhile, back from where he ran, the Hulk rampages and massacres and destroys. Mitchell falls to the dirt ground and glances back at the small-scale war zone far behind him. He thinks of the generations of his family who had successfully served in the military before him and freezes in fear. Back in the valley, Hulk is fired upon by two tanks, it does nothing, and so he picks up one tank by the barrel and smashes it into the other. Eventually, Mitchell climbs up into like the foothills or the mountains and he sort of just sits up there thinking about what had happened prior to the attack, about how all he and the other soldiers were given was GPS coordinates, a call sign, and that they were to hold no matter what. Then he thinks about the colonel and the brass who sold them all out. And then he thinks of the younger members of his platoon, the people he was in charge of, and their terrified faces the moment they saw the Hulk, and a second before Mitchell ran away. And he thinks of who really sold them out. Elsewhere, Hulk walks through the flames and is riddled with ripping hot lead as bullets bounce off his green body. Mitchell watches what is left of his fellow soldiers pulling out of there when four A-10 warthogs race directly above him. They prepare to make a strafing run when Hulk grabs one of the tanks and launches it straight into the air. It crashes, it kills this man in this plane. Uh, he's dead. And that causes two other pilots to freak out and have to maneuver out of the way. But as one of them tries to pull up, they collide with one another and crash. Meanwhile, the final Warthog drops about six bombs onto the Hulk, and it, unsurprisingly, does nothing. Hulk leaps out of the fire, lands on the jet, rips off the cockpit, and narrowly grabs the pilot as he ejects. Just like in the smash hit film Hulk from 2003. Well, kinda. The pilot, Major Lucas Parker, lands somewhat close to Mitchell, and they meet up as Hulk shouts about how stupid and pathetic humans are from the crater that he crashed in. Parker asks if Mitchell was part of the ground forces, and then asks why he's all the way up here, and where his rifle went. And Mitchell looks at him like, Ugh. Meanwhile, Hulk goes on a tirade. Humans are worthless! Humans are puny! Humans are trash! <coughs> Oh, this was the worst possible day for me to do this. My <coughs> my throat is sore. It's not COVID. Always they attack him when Hulk does nothing. Hulk just wants to be left in peace. But stupid humans not quit. Humans just want to kill. They not understand. So they destroy human evil, cowardly scum. Human's worst thing on Earth. Nothing good ever come from humans. So Hulk punish, Hulk pulverize, Hulk smash! The two men then just watch Hulk walk around, yell, and smash stuff. 
and Parker asks if Mitchell has any grenades with him, or if he threw them all away along with his rifle. Mitchell brings out three as Parker explains his plan. You see, they're gonna stick some grenades in this fissure that's, I guess, in this cliff, this overhanging cliff. Then they're gonna wait until the Hulk comes by, and when he's underneath, they'll detonate it and crush him. A regular Looney Tunes plan. Then Parker calls Mitchell a pussy for running away, so Mitchell says, Look, I broke and ran. I admit it. I was a coward. I saw that thing down there, and I, I couldn't face it. I always thought I was born to be a soldier. Now it turns out I'm not up to the job. Is that what you want to hear? Oh, sure, that's just dandy. Except you're an officer. You had men relying on you. When you ran, you didn't let yourself down. You deserted them. Have you seen that thing down there? What could I have done against that? Parker tells him that that's not the point. The point is that he had an obligation to his men. He made an oath he agreed to become an officer in the United States Army and accepted the burden of commanding troops. Then Mitchell brings up that they were never told about that thing down there, and Parker tells him that the brass always sell you out. That's just standard American procedure. Then he tells Mitchell about a mission that he was on that involved destroying some artillery. The mission went smoothly, but as they were returning, his navigator's head exploded all over the cockpit. But they completed the mission. And he tells Mitchell to get his grenades in place. So as Hulk is walking around, hitting stuff, Parker starts calling him a sissy who likes arranging flowers, listening to show tunes, and watching Joan Crawford movies, which enrages the Hulk immensely. Parker aims his handgun at the grenade as Mitchell keeps lookout, and Hulk just hauls ass across the desert, and when he's directly under them, Parker blows up the grenade, and the cliff collapses atop the Hulk. So Hulk gets angry, so he punches the rubble, then the mountain, which causes it to crack apart. Mitchell and Parker are then split up by the rupture, and Parker begins tumbling down towards the valley, so he shouts back at Mitchell to keep fighting. Mitchell then stands alone at the top of the cliff as the dust settles before he begins walking back down the mountain. But then he hears a voice behind him, the voice of the survivors of his company. All four of them. The five hold up halfway down the mountain as they watch Hulk scream and smash some more. And Mitchell tells them that Reno is only about 24 miles away, which is way too close for the Hulk to be. Then he inspects one of their M72 anti-tank rocket launchers and says that if they can get the Hulk near one of those tanks and get a rocket into it, that just could be enough of an explosion to kill him or knock him unconscious. So the troops make their way down there and they open up on the Hulk, and as he marches past the down tank, they fire a rocket right inside of it, which explodes and sends the Hulk straight into the air and right back down on the ground, and he lies there, face down, ass up, and they ask if he's dead or unconscious. Then he wakes up, smashes the ground, and sends them all tumbling all into the air and on their asses. Hulk marches towards them and shouts, Oh god. <clears throat> Puny humans hurt Hulk, but humans not stop him! Hulk want to be left alone, but now Hulk angry. Now Hulk smash. Hulk. <sighs> Mitchell holds the handgun to Hulk's face and says that he orders Hulk to cease and desist. Hulk tells him that the gun won't do anything, and Mitchell says that he knows, but he won't leave these men here to die. Hulk then stares at the puny human, and then he ponders what it means for a human to give their life for another. Then he stops and lumbers away into the desert. As the others get their harmed comrade onto a stretcher, Mitchell shades his face and watches the Hulk walk off into the distance. And he's not quite sure if the Hulk is just quickly moving away, or if he's shrinking. Then they carry the wounded back to civilization. The end. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What Is. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments. I guarantee this is not what you expected when you saw that Garth Ennis wrote it. Again, let me know if you have any uh, suggestions or anything for comics that I should read or cover on this YouTube channel. Also, again, I have Destructo Boy and other exciting tales on sale for $19.99. Check out the link in the description. Follow me on Instagram at NotBlakeWild and at Smokey's Videos for updates on my 166-page graphic novel set in the Old West. I'll see you next time. Bye.